हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विद्या पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन शरद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिटेक्निक इयर ड्राव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द प्रॉब्लम सीरीज ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग फॉर द सब्जेक्ट पॉवर इंजीनियरिंग एंड रेफ्रिजरेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम्स ओके फर्स्ट वी सी द प्रॉब्लम आई रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट हियर A refrigeration system operates on reverse Carnot cycle, and the higher temperature of the refrigerant in the system is forty degree centigrade, and the lower is minus fifteen degree centigrade. The capacity of the machine is ten ton of refrigeration. Uh, neglecting all losses, we have to find here the coefficient of performance and work supplied here. Okay, here. the uh, in figure we see here there is a heat source uh, heat pump and heat sink okay heat is absorbed at uh, qa and heat is rejected to the heat source that is qr okay w net that is work done is carried out so here first we write down the given data from the problem statement that is temperature of the heat source okay that is t1 and the temperature of heat source at t2 okay that is at sink temperature so t1 is equal to uh, t1 is given here for 40 degree centigrade and at the sink lower temperature is given that is minus 15 degree centigrade so by we convert these values in kelvin by adding 273 in both temperatures so temperature of heat source t1 is equal to Forty plus two seventy three is equal to three hundred thirteen Kelvin, and temperature of heat source in a sink that is T two is equal to minus fifty fifteen plus two seventy three is equal to two fifty eight Kelvin. Okay, here uh, they and they are said to calculate uh, COP that is coefficient of performance. So by coefficient of performance of refrigerator. By we calculate by using formula that is T uh, two divided by T one minus T two. Okay, so T two value of T two is two two fifty eight and value of T one is three hundred thirteen. So by putting these both values, we calculate coefficient of performance is uh, is equal to four point sixty nine here. Okay, here but they are given the refrigerator capacity is. Ten ton of refrigeration. Okay, so that is ten times. Okay, more than. So refrigeration effect is ten into ten times. That is refrigeration effect. That is here three point five one seven. That is one ton. One ton is equal to three point five one seven refrigeration effect. So here they are given ten. Ton of refrigeration, so R E is equal to ten into three point five one seven. So R E is calculated in kilowatt as thirty five point seventeen kilowatt here. So next uh, we have to calculate the work supplied. Okay, we already know that the coefficient of refrigerant having is equal to refrigeration effect divided by work supplied. So refrigeration effect is thirty five point seventeen and coefficient of performance for the refrigerator we just calculated by using formula T two upon T one minus T two that is four point sixty nine. So we calculate here work supplied is equal to seven point fifty kilowatt. Okay, the very simple form uh, very simple problem is that. Only calculating COP and work supply, and both having so, uh, different formula for the COP is used here. First is T two divided by T one minus T two, and second R E that is refrigeration effect divided by work supplied. Okay, now we see next problem. In next problem, uh, an ammonia refrigeration machine has a capacity of twenty units of refrigeration at zero degree centigrade. Uh, if limits of temperature in the compressor are thirty degree centigrade and minus ten degree centigrade, and latent heat of ice is three hundred thirty six kilojoule per kg, we have to calculate the power required to drive the 
compressor and we have to assume that the cycle is perfect one okay so first we have to calculate here to cop again the formula here we use cop t2 divided by t1 minus t2 and again t1 is the temperature of source t2 is the temperature of sink so t1 value of t1 is given 30 degree centigrade and t2 is given minus 10 degree centigrade with both values we convert into kelvin by adding 273 so t1 is equal to 303 kelvin and t2 is equal to 263 kelvin by putting these both values in the formula coefficient of performance of refrigeration we get cop of refrigeration is equal to 6.575 okay but they want to calculate the power required okay so that power means that we have to calculate the compressor power that required to drive okay the drive the compressor okay so to calculate compressor uh, power first uh, uh, here they are also given the capacity okay so capacity of the refrigeration plant is 20 tons okay 20 units of refrigeration so 20 tons they are given and uh, 1 ton is equal to 3.517 is a refrigeration effect so they are given capacity of plant is 20 tons so we uh, 20 tons 20 into 3.517 that is 70.34 kilowatt is the capacity of refrigeration plant okay so we again use same formula which we use in last problem that is also cop of refrigeration is equal to refrigeration effect divided by compressor power so refrigeration effect is 70.34 and compressor uh, power we have to calculate and cop of refrigerated we just calculated by using formula t2 divided by t1 minus t2 okay that is 6.575 so compressor power is equal to 10.70 kilowatt okay we just same formulas are used only we know the values of temperatures and by uh, see how to calculate the capacity of refrigerant plant and we know the uh, conver conversion of uh, one ton is equal to 3.517 here also we here only this day we can see we can solve this problem very simple problem next is a carnot refrigerator works between minus 10 degree centigrade and 30 degree centigrade and uh, we have to find the coefficient of performance and the power required per, per ton of refrigeration so here again same formula is uh, same problem is there t1 t2 is given t2 is the temperature of sink and t1 is the temperature of heat source again we convert these all values of temperature in degree centigrade into kelvin by adding 273 so temperature of sink t2 is equal to 263 and temperature of heat source t1 is equal to 303 kelvin so cop of refrigerator is equal to t2 divided by t1 minus t2 so 263 divided by 303 minus 263 that is cop of refrigerator is equal to 6.57575 so again they required uh, they are uh, the capacity is given one ton only so our refrigeration effect is 3.517 kilowatt okay so uh, we have to calculate here again compressor power by using same formula cop of refrigerator is equal to re that is refrigeration effect divided by compressor power that is cop of refrigerator is 6.575 and re is 3.517 just we calculated by using the refrigeration capacity is equal to one ton so compressor power is equal to 0 0.535 kilowatt now we see next problem 
दैट इज रेफ्रिजरेटिंग मशीन वर्किंग बिटवीन द टेम्परेचर लिमिट्स ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड हैज नाइंटी परसेंट रिलेटिव सी ओ पी इट कंज्यूम्स फोर पॉइंट एट किलो वैट पॉवर एंड डिटरमाइन टी आर कैपेसिटी दैट इज टर्न ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन कैपेसिटी फॉर सेम टर्न ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन कैपेसिटी हाउ मच पॉवर विल बी कंज्यूम बाय कैर नॉट रेफ्रिजरेटर and also for the same power consumption we have to determine the turn off refrigeration capacity of carnot refrigerator operating between same temperature limits okay so first we uh, write down the given data that is temperatures that is t21 t2 for sink t1 for source so by adding 273 we converted into degree centigrade into Kelvin. So T two is equal to two sixty Kelvin, and T one is equal to three ten Kelvin. So C O P of the refrigerator by using formula T two divided by T one minus T two. So T two is two sixty, and T one is three ten. By putting T one T two value, we calculate C O P is equal to five point two. So next here they are given. the relative efficiency is 90% okay they are given in problem that is 90% relative cop so by using this 90% that is 0.90 of the relative efficiency we use the formula relative efficiency is equal to cop actual divided by cop carnot refrigerator okay and from that formula we can calculate the cop actual here so uh, we use 0.90 as a relative efficiency and the cop actual and the cop refrigerator we just calculated as 5.2 so cop actual is equal to 4.68 okay that is actual compressor power okay that is actual compressor power is given as 4.8 it given in problem that it consumes 4.8 kilowatt power that is actual compressor power okay so cop for the actual is calculated by re actual that is refrigeration effect actual divided by compressor power which actual com consumed okay so cop of actual we just calculated 4.68 we have to calculate refrigeration effect actual so we put as it is and we have here the compress uh, uh, compressor power is given in problem that is it consumes 4.8 kilowatt power so here we take 4.8 as a compressor power so refrigeration effect actual is equal to 22.464 kilowatt okay so next we have to calculate the tr capacity how much turn capacity of carnot refrigerator operating between same temperature limits we have to calculate so for that purpose again we take cop of refrigerator is equal to refrigeration effect divided by compressor power so refrigeration pay we just calculated 5.2 refrigeration effect and compressor power 4.8 so refrigeration effect re is equal to 24.96 kilowatt one thing you have to remember that if you have to calculate the re actual that time you have to uh, use a formula re actual divided by compressor power and that time you have to use cop actual okay and they are cop of actual they are given that is 4.6 we we that are we calculated from relative efficiency that is cop actual but here we don't have to calculate the cop uh, cop actual here for the cop of refrigeration okay for the same temperature limits that's why we take cop of the refrigerator here by taking same temperature limits that is t twenty one so we use cop uh, by calculating formula t two divided by t one minus t two is equal to five point two so here we take cop of refrigerator not refrigerator as a five point two so five point two is equal to re divided by four point eight 
फोर पॉइंट एट इज द सेम बिकॉज इन बोथ केसेस कंप्रेसर पॉवर रिक्वायर्ड टू ड्राइव द कंप्रेसर इज सेम सो सेम दैट इज दैट्स वाई वी टेक हियर फोर पॉइंट एट सो आर ई फॉर द रेफ्रिजरेटर इज इक्वल टू रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन्टी सिक्स किलो सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट the turn refrigeration capacity by using refrigeration effect divided by 3.517 that is 1 ton 1 ton of refrigeration effect so refrigeration effect divided by 1 ton of refrigeration so the tr capacity is equal to 24 0.96 divided by 1 ton of refrigeration value that is 3.517 is equal to 7.096 ton of refrigeration okay that is tr capacity okay in this way we can solve the problems related to cannot cycle by using cannot cycle of the coefficient of performance capacity temperatures of source temperature of sinks how to calculate this all value we can see in this session next session also we cover the next types of problems uh, related to refrigeration and air conditioning thank you